Hello! During this course you have been introduced to several validation parameters, such as linearity, trueness and precision. And when you have developed an analytical method in your lab, you might start to find yourself questioning, do I really need to determine all of these parameters, or are only some of these required? The answer to this question lies in the analytical scope of your method. But also, as it has been pointed out in ISO, it is important to consider the budget, time and materials available to you during validation. On a, a nice example on the relation between the analytical scope and the validation parameters to be determined has been given in ICH validation guide. It can be seen that methods that carry out quantitative analysis either for impurities or for the main components require different validation parameters than are required for example for identification of the compound. But also when we compare quantitation of impurities and main components we can also see differences. The main components are usually present in large quantities in the samples. Therefore, for the such methods, limit of quantitation is not required to determine during validation. But for impurities that are present in quite low concentrations, the determination of LOQ is required. Also, when determining the parameters that you need to validate during validation, you need to consider the requirements set to you by the customer or by the legislation. But also different stages of validation need to be required. Uh, for example, when you have developed an analytical method in your lab from scratch, then before you can start using this method routinely, you need to carry out the initial validation. This means that all of the required validation parameters need to be determined for a number of representative matrices and for all, anal for all analytes. However, when the method is already in the routine use, you should verify that the method is performing as expected. This means that an ongoing performance validation is required. This is usually carried out by analyzing quality control samples within the batches of routine samples. If the scope of your analytical method needs to be widened, for example by adding new analytes or new matrices, then uh, there are two possibilities suggested by Sanko Validation Guide. First, it is possible to carry out the initial validation for all parameters, for all analytes and matrices that are need to be added, or it is possible to add these analytes and matrices gradually to your method by including them to the ongoing performance validation. If you adapt a standard uh, method uh, developed by organizations such as ISO, ASTM or EPA for example, then, see, then these methods have already been validated by the organizations via interlaboratory comparisons. However, you still need to verify that these methods are also working in your laboratory. Therefore, some of the validation parameters usually need to be determined. Uh, most often, trueness and precision are such parameters. In the next video, we'll see how to carry out validation in practice.